We can tell you are struggling to understand the reality of the climate crisis that the government declared in 2019. Maybe economists, historians and journalists like yourself don't learn about the processes that sustain life on Earth. We know it is hard becoming a parent and you find yourself a father as a code red warning for humanity is being issued. It must be comforting to believe that the life support systems vital for our existence are not as destroyed as the scientists say that they are. It must be comforting to believe that oil is solving our problems rather than escalating them. It must be comforting to stick with business as usual rather than invest in change. But on behalf of the scientists who have been saying this for decades, we are here to remind you and the British public that the situation is actually much worse than predicted. How many more disasters? How many more deaths? How many more warnings of moral and economic madness will it take for you to see what fossil fuels are doing to our only home and to our futures. We are growing up witnessing the future we were promised, where we could use our skills, ingenuity and creativity burning in front of our eyes. You might be able to shield yourself from the truth, but we can see it clear as day, and so will your daughter. You are not protecting her, and you are not building her a nation that she will thrive in. You are destroying her world, and she and her betrayed generation will hold you accountable. This letter will be used as evidence in your trial for crimes against humanity. When your daughter grows up and realises that you burnt her future, she and all the others in her betrayed generation will hold you to account. You, knowledgeable in history and law, are choosing to believe that political realities can trump physics and that the climate crisis can be managed as yet another policy area. It is a staggering failure of leadership. You choose to believe that the past still provides a roadmap for what our world will look like in the coming decades. But the last time CO2 were at today's levels, humanity did not exist. Sea levels were 16 metres higher and the planet was 4 degrees hotter. We don't need to board a spaceship to visit an unknown world. We have delivered one to our children. Your daughter and the millions of people on this planet will be relentless in holding you to account. You're lucky if it will be in court. Right now, young people are furious, and our fury will not diminish over the coming years. Every institution, every scientist, and every academic has warned us that we need to stop CO2 emissions immediately, that investing in new oil and gas is moral and economic madness. Yet you mouth platitudes about national security and investing in the future. Whatever the cost of ending new oil and gas, the cost of mobilising to a zero-carbon economy, the price of not doing so will be so much greater. Your daughter will pay for that bill, and so will we. We ask for the love that we have for our children, for those as yet unborn, for the security of our nation, and for the people in the global south suffering right now. End all new oil and gas, and demonstrate what leadership looks like.